Hello everybody and welcome back to Alex Elliot Golf and welcome to a brand new video. Today I want to talk to you about a simple drill you've never seen before that's going to help you strike those irons pure. Number one, if we look at all the guys in the European Tour, PJ Tour and all those pure ball strikers with irons, they've got their hands ahead of the golf ball, they've got that bit of forward shaft lean, that allows them to get a pure strike and hit their irons crazy distances too. So let's get straight into today's video. Now before that, I want you to comment down below and I want you to rate your iron play out of 10. Do you think it's a good 5 out of 10, 9 out of 10, or is it something that you really feel you need to work on and it's as low as 2 or 3 out of 10? Smash me that comment down below. As well as doing that, if you're new to the channel and not yet a subscriber, don't forget to hit that button up too. Let's get straight into today's video. And today's video is all about how we can strike these irons longer and purer. And if we look at a screenshot now of John Ram at Impact, we'd see a very much position where we've got four forward shaft lean, very flat or, in, or almost bowed lead wrist, left shoulders going high and hips are opening. So we're going to talk about how we can create a premeditated move uh, feeling at address to help us work it through our whole golf game. So if we just highlight the position that we want to get in, and this is something that I like to do as a movement because this all happens so quick down at the golf ball we've really got to make sure whatever practice we're doing it's relevant we don't I don't I do like drills where it's stop and start but for me anything down at impact I like to get a drill which gives me a feeling that I can adapt and take at speed to a shot so today's video is going to help you do that so if we highlight what we want to see, at impact now, I really like to see the hands ahead of the golf ball, the lead wrist is getting into a little bit of a, a bowed position, So, and we look at this position here, we can see the left shoulder's getting higher, and my hips are opening up into the golf ball. We've got a position that looks like this, with all good iron players, again Alex Norrin's another one that looks like this, or d definitely tries to feel a motion like this, because this allows us to strike the irons purer. So, why does getting your hands ahead of the the golf ball help you hit it purer and longer. Well, if I show you this now, as we get our hands ahead of the golf ball, we're actually starting to deal off this golf club. So the simplest turn is we turn the seven iron into a six iron. So we're deal off in the golf club, the hands ahead of the golf ball, and this allows us to compress this ball, ultimately getting more out of the shot. Anytime we're picking this ball off the turf and we've got a glancing picking motion, it's going to be harder one to create a centered strike, but also we're not applying as much energy into the back of the golf ball. So really getting into a position where we've got our hands ahead of the golf ball, this one deal offs the club and two allows you to create more energy transfer into the golf ball, seeing longer shots and shots that are under more control. For me, another added benefit of getting your hands ahead of the golf ball is the fact that we have a lot more stable control of this club face. If I show you this from this angle now and show you how stable this golf club looks to impact compared to someone who picks it and flicks it, this golf club has a lot more face rotation, a lot more chance of pointing to the left, pointing to the right, harder to marry up that face and path relationship. So I've told you about the benefits and I'm a really strong believer in getting towards the position and creating an over-exaggerated feeling for you. Let's show you my brand new drill. Let's hit this one away first. nice shot and this is something that I've worked on in my own golf game. So getting straight into the drill, all you need is an alignment stick and this can be done at the range or at home, you don't have to hit any golf balls with it. Place it down on the ground where it's going to be pointing directly down towards your ball to target line. Placing this directly down to ball to target line, I want you to address this alignment stick in the middle of your golf club. Take your athletic address position and nicely in there. And I want you to create a position now where we start to open up the hips first, allow the hands to come forward, push the alignment stick through. So we can see here we're creating an over-exaggerated feeling of better body turn, left shoulder getting higher, and this feeling of us bowing and holding off this wrist to impact. So we're really looking for a move that's this way. So we can see here, I'm doing this, I'm opening up, I'm dragging the club, I'm really feeling as though I'm pressing down into the ground, achieving that forward shaft lean. Let's try it again. 
Interesting point to note with John Ram, he actually has quite a weak grip, and this really allows him to over exaggerate this move to the nth degree. We're not saying we have to get so far exaggerated, but just feeling a move which is possibly at the upper, opposite end of the spectrum, when we come to hit a shot, then we might be halfway between where we were and where we actually over exaggerated want to be. So again, golf club down, nice and athletic, start with the hip turn first, shoulder goes, hands ahead, push your alignment stick forwards towards target. We're not pushing it to the right and we're not pulling it to the left. We're really trying to push that alignment stick towards target, the alignment stick leaves and then the head starts to work inwards of that arc. So again, we're really feeling this move, not picking this golf ball up. I also want to show you a really good important point here that to get these hands ahead of the golf ball, we really have to feel some element of strengthening the golf club's face. So some element of the wrist creating this move. Now, if we don't do that and we push this alignment stick now, we can't actually do it. The alignment stick would fall off to the right and this face would point to the right. So this element of us bowing this wrist or that feeling of keeping it flat, so this motion, really allows us to keep that golf club and golf club's face pointing towards target. So ultimately pushing the alignment stick towards target. So now looking at it from the down the line perspective, we're placing the golf club behind, allow the lower body to open up and belt buckle towards target, left shoulder works higher and we're feeling of low go to target. Target. So working in this motion and don't be scared to have a few reps of doing this along the ground Getting the feeling of the club dragging along the ground hips opening up But allowing you to feel as though these hands are working ahead of the golf ball. I really love this drill If we don't strengthen the face The alignment stick would go off to the right and it'd be very much a glancing motion Which some of you feel with the golf ball. So really understanding that we have to have an element of this motion into the golf ball, not just pushing the hands ahead because this will make the face point to the right. In we go, lower body, upper body, push through towards target, really get a good feeling. So how could we build it into a session if we were down the range now? I would like you to do two reps, feeling that you do it with the alignment stick, this is exactly what we're going to do now and then we're gonna hit two shots away. So one where it's fresh, one where it's not so fresh, really allowing you to blend it off onto the course. So in, lower body, through, push, get the alignment stick again, lower body, strengthen, through towards target, really getting a good sense of what we're trying to achieve, into the shot, remind yourself, remind yourself, hit the shot. And again, hit another one away. So we're going to remind yourself, remind, remind, that's the feeling I want to have, feeling of pressure, feeling the hands ahead, pure iron shots. Now we're going to place the golf club down behind, nice and athletic, remember start with the lower body first, it's important that we have the lower and upper married up in this situation because that's going to really allow us to create this position. We've got to allow the body to move to facilitate this hand ahead of the golf ball. So club down, lower body first, hands ahead, feeling of the logo working towards the ground pushing it towards target. If we don't, and we just push the hands forward, but don't have this element of this wrist creating this movement, look how my face points towards the right. Hands ahead, feeling of strengthening that wrist, so logo towards the target, logo to the ground, pushing it through, really allows me to strengthen the face and get these hands ahead of the golf ball and keep that married up relationship. So there you have it, my drill for you getting your hands ahead of the golf ball leading to purer, longer iron shots. Don't forget all you need is an iron and your alignment stick, you can do this one at home, really gain a feeling of the lower body going first, upper body, then that feeling of creating this motion into the golf ball. We've got to have an element of this because if we just put the hands ahead of the golf ball without strengthening the face to somewhat, the face is going to point to the right of target. And we're going to feel those glancy shots, which some of you are feeling already. So all left me to do is thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and see you next time on Alex Elliott Golf.